Just, just one other war story. Uh, we're in the middle of a trial right now, and we went up to the Palm Beach Courthouse last week, and we were told we could not go through the front door. <laughs> we said, why, why can't we go through the front door? You know, we're here for a trial. Attorneys always go through the front door. No, you have too many boxes. We were told we had to go through the loading dock of the Palm Beach Courthouse. I have a picture on my phone. I wanted to, to put it up here. It's the most hysterical thing on earth. If, if you go to my Facebook page, our law firm Facebook page, you'll actually see uh, a picture of us at the loading dock. And my point is we had so many boxes. We had so much information with us. We were ready to go to trial. And, and we're also ready to appeal, win or lose. And in fact, it's interesting. Judges know when a case is going to be appealed by both sides. And many times, probably a dozen times, I've had judges say, you know, it doesn't matter how I rule, I know one of you is taking this on appeal. And in a good way, that is exactly how the system should work. They should know that when you go to trial, you are serious, you mean business, you've set the record straight, and that there's going to be someone else looking over that judge's shoulders. And the reason I say that, if the judges in, in the court do not believe that there's going to be someone questioning them or second guessing them. They will do whatever they feel is right, and maybe they feel that is their constitutional role, but that isn't their role. Their role is to follow the law and the rule of law. And all of us here, I'm sure, have war stories where judges have, do, have done what they thought was right at that moment in time, but it was way off the reservation. And the only way we as attorneys, who also are sworn officers of the court, are to keep judges straight and on the narrow is to make sure that when you walk into court, you know that they know that you're serious and that you're going to hold them accountable to their oath of office and that they're going to be appealed if they do something that is inconsistent with the law. And if you don't walk in with those boxes and if you don't walk in prepared, you really shouldn't be in trial. And I tell my kids this when they go have a test. I say, you pass that test. You, you get 100 on that test, you get a 90. I don't ask for 100. Uh, you know, you'll get a 90 or a 95 on that test before you walk into that test, because it is preparation. And in fact, that picture I sh uh, that, I, that I just talked about, I took that home to my kids. And he said, you see, this is what I'm talking about. Dad, when he goes to trial, is prepared. And so it is in the preparation that you will win your trials. It is in the preparation that you will win those appeals.